was shooting long range uh, last summer at a Camp Perry, and we had a we had a gun we had to remove the front sight on. When we we're on the road, it's got to go right back on the line. Me and my boss, Mr. Gene Clark, uh, say, you know what? We need a fixture to get these lined back up where they can be back on paper. You know, at the next round. All right, start with the upper. Now this can either be used for M16s or AR10s. Uh, AR10s, there's a bolt in the middle. Just loosen it up, flip the block around, and it, it fits AR10s also. But uh, just put it in, put your pin in. Uh, this is a uh, hold down rod, if you will goes in the back and what this does it puts downward pressure on the rear of the receiver and it it picks the front up to hold it on the pin where you get it in the same where it gets in the same spot every time and uh, when it's not going to move in the fixture and then you get your indicator on your front sight you zero it out if your no wind zero is off on your rear sight, say it's off four minutes, from that you can figure out how much you need to move the front sight and you just loosen it up and you move it. If you got to move it 20 thousandths, you just move it whichever way you need to 20 thousandths and the indicator gives you a reading on that so you know exactly how much you've moved it. Uh, basically, it would be the same setup. You'd remove your front sight. Uh, change the gas tube if, or ream the gas port. Something happens, the gun is not cycling as well as it should. You'd ream the gas port out, you know, a couple thousandths bigger. Uh, put your front sight back on, line it back up with zero, and you're good to go. You're still, still in the middle.